Alright, so to make an oscilloscope, you're going to need a CRT TV. Uh, then, uh, it, it's got to be working, uh, because if it isn't, uh, uh, it just won't work. So, you're going to want to take this apart, and I'll be back to you once I do that. Oh, and uh, be careful when you take these apart, because they have a flyback transformer, which can actually store a charge. And you can get a nasty shock, although it's not lethal, it, most likely. It, it'll hurt uh, quite a bit. So keep that in mind, and let's move on. I, just as an extra safety precaution, I have these rubber gloves. I shouldn't get shocked anyway. So, unscrew it. Yeah, that flyback's very small. There's the transformer right there. Uh, all right, I'm gonna discharge this. So it's kind of hard for you to see, but there's a suction cup over here. There's gonna be a suction cup, and you gotta ground your wire, and then get the screwdriver. Uh, you're gonna wanna get a wire. I'll get a wire. Uh, gotta get a wire, an alligator clip, and you gotta hook that up to your screwdriver. And your screwdriver has to be conductor for this to work. So now I have it hooked up, and now you gotta ground this somehow. Somehow you gotta ground this. Now, depending on your TV, you may or may not need to do this, but for your safety and mine, I would advise you do this just in case. Uh, now, I can't do this right now, so come on. I'll be right back. Alright, to safely discharge it, you're going to want to hook an alligator clip to a known ground, and then you're going to want to uh, use a screwdriver to pry the uh, suction cup of the flyback transform off of the uh, side of here. Then you hook it up to ground, touch the uh, pin of the suction cup to uh, the wire. Now you may or may not get a uh, shock from it uh, because uh, newer models actually uh, have a resistor that prevent uh, you from getting shocked. So. Alright. So once you've removed the top, it's pretty simple. You'll see some coils on the cathode ray tube. You must remove the wires on one of the coils and attach some probes to those wires that are still attached to the coil. After that, just power the television on and hook the probes up to a battery, aux cable, or tone generator, and see if the line moves or not. If it doesn't, then hook the coil back up and repeat the process with the other coil. Here's the finished product, and as you can see, I am getting a sine wave from a tone generator, because this is hooked up to a uh, my laptop and we can change it to a square wave if we want or a sawtooth and a triangle so yeah hope you enjoyed the video uh, thanks for watching and subscribe please